is 7 Eyewitness News at 11. We're working to get more information on a shooting that happened in broad daylight in Buffalo's University District. It's a developing story tonight on 7 Eyewitness News. New tonight, a police source tells us that the 25-year-old man has died from his injuries. They say he was shot in the first block of Thatcher Avenue between East Amherst and Kensington. The shooting happened right around 3 o'clock this afternoon. The gunman is still on the loose. A 24-year-old man is dead after police say he fell from a fourth story balcony at a downtown bar. Thomas Krikovich of Lancaster was rushed by ambulance from the Pearl Street Grill. He was later pronounced dead at Buffalo General Medical Center. Police say he fell from the fourth story balcony just after 10 last night. And according to Damon College, Krikovich was a graduate student in the physician assistant program. A Pearl Street Grill employee told us he was there last night with a group of students from the school for a banquet. Buffalo police are now investigating how this happened and awaiting autopsy results. But well, we have new information tonight in connection with a crash that damaged a Buffalo landmark. Police say the driver of a stolen car crashed into Gate Circle just before 8 o'clock this morning. The three people in the car all jumped out and took off on foot. Police were able to catch up with them a short time later. The suspects are 30-year-old Elizabeth Robinson of Buffalo, 21-year-old Dana Smith from Wales, and 23-year-old Christian Page of Buffalo. They're all charged with unauthorized use of a vehicle, criminal possession of stolen property and criminal mischief. Police have not released any other information. Damage, though, to Gate Circle is estimated at about $10,000. Also new tonight, police responded to reports of a suspicious package behind the Regal Cinema on Elmwood Avenue in North Buffalo. The bomb squad was brought in just as a precaution, but when our camera was there, people were still going in and out of the theater. We have a call out for police for more information. From Skywatch 7 tonight, here's a live look from downtown Buffalo. Clear skies right now and plenty of sunshine to go around here in western New York earlier today. So how Sunday is shaping up? 7 First Alert meteorologist Autumn Lewandowski is tracking your 7 First Alert most accurate forecast. Hi, Autumn. Hey, Jill. It's a beautiful evening across western New York. Another cool one, mind you, but that is going to lead the way to another gorgeous start. Take a look at those temperatures outside. 52 degrees at the Buffalo Airport and a nice light easterly wind right now between 5 and 10 miles an hour. The satellite and radar shot together has been over the past hour, but we could put it through the last several days and you would see essentially the same thing. Not really a cloud in the sky and as we head through the overnight, temperatures will be dropping into the lower 40s, upper 30s, especially as you get away from the lakeshore communities. Some of those sheltered valleys in the southern tier will be getting back into to the 30s. Now for the day tomorrow, more sunshine, temps mid 60s as we get around that noon hour. We're also going to have the bisons in downtown Buffalo once again. What a beautiful home stretch they have had. We're going to see highs right near that 70 degree mark and by 6 p.m. we're still in the middle 60s. So if you have any activities to get out and do, maybe washing the car, yard work, a jog or a run, sunny for the morning, all green lit, same during the afternoon, nice and warm warm and clear as we head into the evening. Unfortunately, we are talking about some rain in the forecast. When will it get here? How long will it last? And will it still feel like spring in that 7 First Alert 7 day? I'll have it coming up from the inside, Jill, in just a little bit. I hope so, Autumn. Now to Democracy 2016. It's your voice, your vote. The New York State primary is just now a few days away, and many of the candidates plan to be back in the Empire State by tomorrow. But tonight, they're scattered around trying to win support and raise some cash. ABC's Devin Dwyer has the latest from the campaign trail. It may be crunch time in New York, but the candidates are scattered across the country and around the world. Bernie Sanders flying back to the Empire State after a whirlwind visit to the Vatican and a quick meeting with the Pope. He is a beautiful man and there's a radiance that comes from him. It was a very, a very wonderful moment to meet with him. Pope Francis denying an endorsement of Sanders, Sanders saying it was a good-mannered meeting and nothing more. Hello, South LA! Hillary Clinton spending Saturday raising campaign cash with supporters in Los Angeles. We need to get all this energy and get to work for a big victory in California. And a glitzy Hollywood fundraiser with George and Amal Clooney. So the system is rigged. It's a bad system. It's a dirty system. 
Donald Trump, meanwhile, still taking aim at the primary process in his own party. A real estate mogul stumping in his home state, but already talking about Cleveland. I'll tell you what, you're going to have a rough July at that convention. While Trump holds a commanding lead headed into Tuesday's contest, his main rival, Ted Cruz, is poised to win more delegates this weekend in Wyoming. We're in all likelihood going to have a battle in Cleveland to determine who the nominee is. The delegate math creating questions and frustration for some Trump supporters. But he's won the popular vote. He should get the delegates and he should be the nominee. It's not, it undermines the voters. Also in New York, John Kasich tried to steer clear of the controversy. Currently working on a secret plan uh, to delay the primary so I can spend more time eating in New York. Hey, Devin Breyer, ABC News, Syracuse, New York. Brutal for you. Happening across the country on 7 Eyewitness News, a major spring snowstorm is expected to dump up to several feet of snow along the eastern foothills of Colorado and Wyoming. The National Weather Service says rain is changing to snow and temperatures are falling, which could bring heavy wet snow over the next two days. Airlines at Denver International Airport have canceled about 840 flights so far today. Super frustrating. Um, I had to sleep here last night and it's it's just keeps getting canceled. But what's bad for travelers is good for ski resorts. Some mountain areas have been slammed with more than two feet of mid-April snow. Now to a tragedy south of the state line in Pennsylvania where a mother and three children have died in a house fire near Pittsburgh. The flames quickly spread through the duplex in the Pittsburgh suburb of Bellevue around 9.30 last night. Police say 38-year-old Angela Lash was pronounced dead along with her 11-year-old son Noah and two daughters, 6-year-old Kaylee and 4-year-old Hannah. A fifth person was was also pulled from the flames and is in critical condition. Officials say two people living on the other side of the duplex were able to escape. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. Police are trying to determine why someone shot and killed a firefighter who was responding to a call for help at a home in Maryland. Police say firefighters were called to the home in Temple Hills to help someone with a medical condition. They say when they arrived at the scene, nobody answered the door. Firefighters then forced their way in when somebody inside opened fire. A 37-year-old firefighter died. A second firefighter and the person who called 911 were also shot, but they're expected to be okay. Tonight, investigators say they're trying to determine whether this was a tragic accident or something more sinister. It never ends. God, I hope so. But at the end of the day, the men and women of public safety are going to be there when the community needs us. The suspected gunman is in custody tonight. Again, there's no word on a possible motive. Also in Maryland, authorities say a helicopter carrying three people crashed near the Baltimore airport. The chopper went down near Amtrak railroad tracks. Paramedics took the three people inside to nearby hospitals. They're expected to be okay. The crash is not impacting airline operations, but train travel in the area is experiencing some delays. Happening around the world on 7 Eyewitness News, the death toll continues to grow following two powerful earthquakes in Japan. Authorities now say at least 41 people are dead as a result of the quakes that hit the southern part of the country over the last two days. Other people remain trapped in collapsed homes and rescuers are now racing to reach them before rain moves in and makes the job more difficult. About 1,500 people were injured and hundreds of thousands are without electricity or water tonight. Pope Francis is urging Europe not to forget the ongoing migrant crisis there. The head of the Catholic Church spent the day on a Greek island which has faced the brunt of the migration crisis. Then came an extraordinary gesture. Pope Francis brought 12 Syrian Muslims to Italy aboard his plane on the way back to Italy. The Vatican says the three Syrian families, including six children, will be supported by the Holy See and cared for initially by a Catholic charity. Back in our area, parents got an education on the benefits of charter schools in Buffalo. The city's 10 charter schools held a community day of celebration this afternoon at St. John's Baptist Church on Goodell Street. This event served as an opportunity for parents to speak directly with staff from the city's charter school community and to fill out applications for their children. We really just want to give the community, like add value to the community and show that the charter schools are part of the community because every child deserves access to a high quality education, a great teacher, and a great school regardless of their zip code. 
There was also voter registration at today's event. One woman in western New York is hoping to change the lives of many women in western New York. This afternoon, Buffalo native V Majors launched Happy Chicks Rock. Majors created the women's empowerment brand, and her goal is to motivate and uplift as many women as she can. Dozens of women attended a launch party today. Panel guests were on hand, coaching the ladies on how to maintain long-term happiness financially, spiritually, and physically. Next on 7 Eyewitness News, good news for people who love Sunday brunch. You could soon be able to legally enjoy mimosa at Buffalo bars and restaurants before noon. I'll have more on that coming up. And a black tie affair at Shays, the crown jewel in the heart of the theater district, is making a major milestone tonight. You're watching 7 Eyewitness News at 11. Closed captioning of 7 Eyewitness News is brought to you by your Western New York Chevy dealers. How would you sum up this car in one word? Um, swanky. Sexy. Sexy. Luxurious. Classy. Fast. Sporty. Shop. Innovative. Sleek luxury sedan. Yeah, that's more than one word. <laughs> this is the all new 2016 Chevy Malibu. That's wow. impressive. Where's the local dealer around here? <laughs> Current qualified competitive lessees can get this all new 2016 Chevy Malibu LT for around $199 a month. See your Western New York Chevy dealers. After a weekend filled with sunshine, it looks like spring has finally arrived in Western New York. And it's construction season. We'll let you know what roads you're going to be dealing with. Plus, we've got all the top stories you need to kick off your week. Join us Monday, 5 to 7 a.m. Be amazed. Be inspired. I'm shocked. I can't praise this show enough. How many things do you see in life that touch you and make you that hopeful? I'm incredibly inspired after coming tonight. Yeah. See it 100 more times. <laughs> Every seat is taken. I can see why now. Shen Yun, coming to Shades, April 23rd and 24th. Tickets at Ticketmaster. Real deals on Silverado at Paddock Chevrolet. GM employees currently in a lease. Sign and drive an all-star 4x4 starting at $269 a month with nothing to its signing. No down payment, tax, or fees. Want to put first month's payment, tax, and fees down? Payments start at $188. Over $250 to choose from. Your purchase benefits the Summit Center. we got the Silverado you need at the price you deserve. At Paddock Chevrolet, a world-class dealership for small-town value. The Vinyl Outlet. Fences, decks, porches, railings. Now with 7 First Alert Weather, this is 7 Eyewitness News at 11. Most people would agree Sunday brunch is best served with a mimosa. Unfortunately, New York State says that's illegal at least before noon. But tonight, we're learning this Prohibition-era law could soon be history. There are endless opportunities to get a cocktail in western New York, but ordering one on a Sunday morning, well, it's like taking a step back in time to 1934 when New York State's blue law went into effect, making it illegal for bars and restaurants to sell alcohol before noon. Maybe it worked at the end of Prohibition, but in 2016... It's time for them to re-examine re this. Carol Simon of Betty's knows how to brunch, and Sundays are busy with more customers, she says, than any day of the week. They come in and they think that they can get a mimosa or a Bloody Mary or a glass of champagne. The antiquated laws have been contested in Buffalo for years. In fact, in 1922, former Buffalo Mayor Francis X. Schwab openly opposed prohibition and was charged with trafficking liquor. He pled no contest in court, paid a $500 fine, and the rest is history. Now, decades later, good news for those who brunch. Governor Andrew Cuomo had a group of industry experts review the state's liquor laws and one of their recommendations, permitting alcohol to be sold at 8 a.m. on Sundays. And that's something bar and restaurant owners are toasting. It would enable us to provide a better guest experience. At Mess K in North Buffalo, their bread and butter, Sunday mornings, when the soccer bar shows games being played overseas, games that start as early as 8 a.m. our time. It makes the experience of enjoyment and watching the game uh, a little bit better. And if the state is looking for feedback before making a decision, soccer fans at Mess K... I feel like it'd be a good idea to open up the bar a little bit earlier because People are here ready to party and have a good time. And brunch fans at Betty's say they're all for it. It's what people want. It's good business for the restaurants. 
And we're told Governor Andrew Cuomo must now review the recommendations. He hopes to have legislation drafted before session ends in June. The iconic line, Run, Forest, Run, is from the movie Forrest Gump. But today, that line had new meaning at one Williamsville Elementary School. Forrest Elementary held a 5K run this morning to help raise money for Sebastian Bradley. The seven-year-old is battling brain cancer, and his family is dealing with thousands of dollars in medical bills. It's amazing. I can't believe how many people are here. Um, I, I heard there was over a thousand, which just it blows my mind. Like all the support in the community has been amazing. The annual 5K is usually the school's largest PTA fundraiser, but this year all of the money is going to help Sebastian. What's well, a major milestone in the heart of Buffalo's theater district tonight? Shays Performing Arts Center held its 90th anniversary gala on Main Street. This black tie affair is sold out with nearly 600 people in attendance. The gala is the single largest fundraising event of the year for Shays, and for the first time ever, Shays has expanded the main stage for this historic celebration. 7 Eyewitness News anchor Ashley Rowe caught up with the president of Shays just before things got underway. Hey, yeah, you know, when you think about the iconic images of Buffalo, you can't help but think of the sign that's just above me, the Shays Buffalo sign. Everybody knows it, of course. I am here right now with the president of Shays, Tony Conti. Uh, 90 years. Congratulations on uh, this fantastic event that we are celebrating today. Thank you very much. It's, uh, it's great. It's, uh, you know, a lot of people, everybody seems excited, so it's great to see. So much excitement and so much growth over the past 14 years, I understand you've been yeah, 15, actually. Yeah. So tell me about the growth um, over the last, over decade. Well, I mean, it's it's been quite phenomenal uh, working with uh, Albert, our, our producing partner, and, uh, uh, you know, coming up with shows and, and uh, programming that uh, people really have enjoyed and, and uh, embraced. Uh, you know, the support we've got from this community is just absolutely outstanding. Uh, we've worked hard to make sure that the building looked great, to make sure the building is kept up properly, and, and uh, worked hard on restoration, spent a lot of money restoring. Uh, but the reality is uh, the, the community has appreciated it and has shown their appreciation, and it's been an honor to do it. As you saw, 7 Eyewitness News anchors Ashley Rowe and Jeff Russo were out there on the red carpet. Tonight, the 90th anniversary comes at a time when the $17.5 million restoration project is just about finished. The Wonder Theater is now listed on the registry of National Historic Places. 7 ABC is a proud sponsor of the event. Check out these fantastic pictures from the sunset tonight here in Buffalo. Our producer, Jeff Poth, took his lunch break over by the Erie Basin Marina and Canal side tonight. A lot of great views to take in. The waterfront was packed with people enjoying the sunset and almost summer-like temperatures out there today in western New York. Jeff, you are awesome. And speaking of weather, 7 First Alert meteorologist Adam Lewandowski is here now tracking your most accurate forecast. You were saying, speaking of awesome, I thought you were going to say autumn, not They're synonymous. They're yeah, synonymous. There we go. <laughs> you know what Skywatch 7 caught? The most beautiful sunset as well. Take a look at it from 645 to just before 8 o'clock. Watch the clock. Sun goes down. 759. It's the last time before 8 o'clock we will have the sunset. After that, we're going to see it lighter and lighter for longer and longer all the way through summer. As we take a look at our current conditions, 52 degrees at the Buffalo Airport, clear skies. It's what we've been dealing with every day as we went from the middle of the week up until now, and we're going to continue to see some cool temperatures through the overnight. 50s now, we'll get into the 40s shortly, and the interior valleys even into the 30s by tomorrow morning. Satellite and radar shot together. We've had it over the past hour running a loop, but I've mentioned it earlier. You could go for days of running a loop, and you still wouldn't see, really see a thing. And Jill mentioned this earlier. Snow in Denver. I was looking Looking at some of the storm reports from a half a foot to over a foot and a half has already fallen in some of the areas of Denver. Good thing is that's not going to be reaching its way into our neck of the woods. We still have another day of sunshine. It will be cool through the overnight, mainly clear and light winds to go with it. But by the time we head into the afternoon, we will get into the 70s. Not only will we reach the 70 degree mark, but plenty of spots will be in the low 70s as we head into the afternoon. A nice light northerly breeze at around five miles an hour. So those that may go and uh, really go along the waterfront through downtown Buffalo or canal side, even
even tomorrow, you will experience these warmer temperatures as well. It's that southwesterly wind off of a chilly Lake Erie that makes things cool. It really won't be the case as you head into downtown Buffalo tomorrow. If you have any grilling that you would like to get done, perfect weather for it. In the mid 60s at 1 o'clock, 4 p.m. We're at 70 degrees, mid 60s by 7 p.m. And the Bison's back at Coca-Cola Field tomorrow, so maybe you don't have to whip up your own uh, hamburger patties or the sausage links there. You can just get them right at the ballpark and it will be just as nice there too. Take a look at future casts as we go into early tomorrow morning. High pressure, that big blue H. We have that northerly wind coming around with it. Clockwise motion. And what happens with high pressure? You have sinking air. So not a lot can really go up into the atmosphere and make something of itself. Not at all. Now what we are going to see is that sinking southward and as it goes away, we do have a frontal system that will come on in and then things start to change a little bit for our Monday. We'll bring in a little bit more cloud cover. Temperatures will be in the mid 60s. A shower comes in late and leaves early by Tuesday. Take a look at it. Early sprinkles for Tuesday. We'll have temperatures in the mid 50s. As we get into our Wednesday, we're up to around 60 degrees. We do get back into the mid 60s for Thursday. Next weekend, that's something that's going to be debatable as we go into the next couple of days. We'll have to keep watching these model runs because it could be a little bit cooler and also wetter, or we could get a little bit milder as well, but we'll call it middle of the road 60 and some rain on Friday. What a beautiful sunset tonight. I actually actually missed it, so I'm glad you and Jeff in the control room were able to <laughs> share that, covered. those beautiful visuals. Thank you so much, Autumn. <laughs> Is LaShawn McCoy out of the woods just yet, Sean? Or, not Sean. LaShawn, Sean. Right. I've been called worse. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. I had one job. <laughs> He is not out of the woods just yet. The latest in the developments with the Bills running back. Yeah, the Attorney General says, uh, stay tuned. There's probably more to come. Uh, plus the Great Dane back in fine form tonight for the Bandits. We've got that and more next. I am Nick. You are watching 7 Eyewitness News at 11. Get the latest weather alerts from the 7 First Alert team of meteorologists and the latest headlines from the 7 Eyewitness Newsroom by liking us on Facebook and following us on Twitter. The 7 First Alert weather webcast is brought to you by Darling Paint and Restorations. Call 656-8802. Good days start with breakfast at a great price, like Tim Hortons two breakfast sandwiches for four dollars. Your choice of sausage or bacon on a homestyle biscuit or English muffin with an egg and American cheese, two for just four dollars. Double up on deliciousness at Tim Hortons Cafe and Bake Shop. Camping World, America's number one RV dealer, is hosting the season opener RV show April 21st through 25th at the Event Center on the fairgrounds in Hamburg. Shop exclusive show pricing on hundreds of new and used RVs, new towable RVs starting at only 98 per month, motor homes from $4.58 per month. These steals won't last. Plus, hit a grand slam with our low APR financing and free parking and admission. The season opener RV show, April 21st through 25th at the Event Center on the fairgrounds in Hamburg, hosted by Camping World. If you're doing everything right, but find it harder and harder to get by, you're not alone. While our people work longer hours for lower wages, almost all new income goes to the top 1%. My plan? Make Wall Street banks and the ultra-rich pay their fair share of taxes. Provide living wages for working people. Ensure equal pay for women. I'm Bernie Sanders. I approve this message because together we can make a political revolution and create an economy and democracy that works for all and not just the powerful few. Find more of what you love online at Bonton.com. Our biggest selection of brands, styles, and sizes, plus web exclusives, are just a click away. Shopping has never been easier with free online shipping and easy returns at any Bonton store location. Plus, sign up for emails to receive exclusive offers, the latest news on the season's hottest trends, and more. So for more of what you love, just shop, click, and ship at Bonton.com. Bonton, your store, your style. Protect them with Canine Advantix 2. It not only kills fleas, ticks, and mosquitoes, it repels them too. So do more to defend your four legged friend with Canine Advantix 2. For the love of dog. Not one penny, Buffalo. Transitown Hyundai makes it easy to get a brand new Hyundai. You don't give us a penny, and you drive away in a 2016 Elantra for just $189 a month. All 10
taxes and fees included. Or don't give us a penny and drive away a sparkling new Sonata for just $209 a month. All taxes and fees included. Loyalty and conquest save even more. Bring a trade and save even more. It's easy. It's time to get a car. Elantra 189. Sonata 209. Not a penny down. Transit Town Hyundai across from Eastern Hills Mall. Trust Transit Town. And 43016. At Tim Hortons, we make freshly brewed iced coffee just the way you like it. That means it's served up icy cold in flavors like original, caramel, or new mocha. And now for a limited time, get any small iced coffee for just a dollar after 12 p.m. at Tim Hortons Cafe and Bake Shop. Now with the Chevrolet Sports Desk, here's sports reporter Nick Filipowski. Welcome back. Sean McCoy could still face charges stemming from his alleged involvement in a nightclub brawl in Philadelphia earlier this year. According to CBS 3 in Philly, at the request of the Fraternal Order of Police President John McNesby, the Attorney General's office will be reviewing the case and the district attorney's decision to not file charges against McCoy or any others involved in that fight. The initial ruling by the DA could get overturned by a judge if the AG's office finds overwhelming evidence to bring charges forward. Now, an NFL spokesperson told 7 Eyewitness Sports anchor Sean Stepner earlier this week that the NFL is also conducting its own investigation into the matter, but does not have a timetable for a decision regarding a possible suspension or fine. To the NLL, the Bandits and Dane Smith with an off night north of the border against Toronto just one goal and an assist for Smith as Buffalo's six-game winning streak came to a screeching halt on Friday. A chance for revenge as the teams head back to the 716. The talented Mr. Smith wasting oh, very little time lighting it up. His first of five on the night, increasing his league-leading total to 123. He's just seven shy of tying the all-time mark in league history. Let's not forget about this guy, Ryan Banesh. How about a Hattie in the second period? Yeah, he's got it. Finishes with four goals. Bandits get back in the win calm. They take a one-and-a-half game lead in the East. Division with a 14 8 victory. Stanley Cup playoffs, game two between the Caps and Flyers. Washington up a game in the series. And if you thought David Legwan had the flukiest goal of the season, well, the Caps and Steve Mason gave us this. Yeah, all I know is that is not how you played that puck at all. We move along to the second. Are the Caps on the power play? Yep. Did Alex Ovechkin just score? Yep. Did the Caps win? Yep. Did they take a 2 nothing series lead? Yeah, they did. They take it 4-1. Series heads to PA on Monday. NBA side of the postseason. Toronto has never won game one in a playoff opener. And unfortunately, that trend continues in the first round against Indiana. Paul George, a big reason why, hits three triples in the third, finishes with 33. Pacers take it 100-90. to The Raptors 0-8. 0-8 all time in game one. That's not good. Well, dating back to last season, the herd have been on the wrong end of one run games. A year ago, they were just 19 and 32 in games decided by a run. This season, four of their five losses are by that magic number. One, including Friday's setback against Rochester. No such drama in this one against Pawtucket this afternoon. The scouting report probably said, don't throw it there to Dominic Brown. Brian Johnson decides to anyway, and that's a mistake. It's a two-run shot. Heard take a 2-0 lead. It didn't stay that way for long. Cole Sturgeon with the rip down the left field line. Look out! Birds are in the way. They get out of the way because they can fly. Uh, Red Sox rally to take it 5-2. Game two is on Sunday. Season opener for the Western New York Flash. They knock off the reigning champs FC Kansas City 1-0. Sam Mewis, the lone goal in the 72nd minute. Good way to start the season. For the flash. That was 7 Eyewitness News sports anchor Nick <laughs> Filipowski. I know your name. We'll be right back. <laughs> Television and digital for the cost of radio. Trellis Marketing. Dirt, grime, moss, and algae can cut your roof's lifespan in half. Protect your roofing investment with treatments from Aquawash. It's the Forever Young Spring Expo at Michael's Catering and Banquets in Hamburg with free admission, free health screenings, pneumonia and Tdap shots, plus door prizes and giveaways. The Forever Young Expo, Thursday, April 28th at Michael's Catering and Banquets with 7 ABC. Spring is on its way. Hurry in because Spring Value Days means our lowest prices of the season. We were thinking about painting our back room and we went to Value to pick out paint colors and we found the perfect color and now the back room looks great. 
Save $10 on all Pratt & Lambert Red Seal paint. Flat is only $19.97 after rebate. Save over 30% on the Purdy White Dove Roller Cover 3-Pack, now $7.97. Shop easy. China, India, some of the world's worst polluters. As Secretary of State Hillary Clinton forced them to the table, making real change by laying the groundwork for the historic global agreement to combat climate change. As president, she'll invest in a clean energy future and the jobs that go with it, and stand firm with New Yorkers opposing fracking, giving communities the right to say no. Because our future depends on getting this right. I'm Hillary Clinton, and I approve this message. Hey, honey. Mm -hmm. You remember to look the Buick, right? Of course I do. I'll never forget that. The Buick Remote Link app, now available in every Buick. You close all the apartment windows, too. Come on. Really? You're the best. Mm -hmm. Now current lessees, switch to Buick and get this low mileage lease on this 2016 Encore for around $189 per month with just $559 due at signing. Don't let dust and allergies get between you and life's beautiful moments. With Flonase Allergy Relief, they won't. When we breathe in allergens, our bodies react by overproducing six key inflammatory substances that cause our symptoms. Most allergy pills only control one substance. Flonase controls six, and six is greater than one. Flonase outperforms the number one non-drowsy allergy pill, so you can seize those moments wherever you find them. Flonase 6 is greater than 1 changes everything. Customize your home with Window Factory Outlet. Protect your home with double-hung windows starting as low as $199 installed. We can install any style of window in only two to three weeks. Get the look you want and energy efficiency you need at a price you can afford. Call Window Factory Outlet today or visit WFO.direct. In New York State, we believe tomorrow starts today. All across the state, the economy is growing. With creative new business incentives, the lowest taxes in decades, and new infrastructure for a new generation. Attracting the talent and companies of tomorrow. Like in Rochester, with world-class photonics. And in Buffalo, where medicine meets the future. Let us help grow your companies tomorrow, today, at business.ny.gov. Take a look at it. 70 degrees for our Sunday. We get back to average by Tuesday and a little bit of rain Monday night. All in all, hasn't been too bad. All right. Thanks, Autumn. Thanks for staying up with us tonight. 7 Eyewitness News will be back at 6 o'clock tomorrow. Have a good night.